Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, what we're going to do is we're going to take a deep look at AMG Performance Vehicles, Mercedes AMG Performance Vehicles. Specifically, we're going to look at what is a Mercedes AMG, get a little bit of history of the Mercedes AMG, and then we're going to just go right on down this page because we're going to go over this page together and get a deep overview, right? What is Mercedes AMG? The history of AMG, performance, design, craftsmanship, and go over all the models. I love, I love Mercedes and uh, uh, vehicles in general. Specifically, I am a guy that loves the performance variant of any make and model. I like the performance variant, and I love AMG vehicles. I've had a couple of E55s. Uh, yeah, they're older, but they were amazing, amazing machines. And I would love to get my hands on another AMG. And, you know, I do a lot of videos. I do a lot of videos, and I can fall in love with a lot of different cars. But every time I come back and look at these AMGs, I, f I can just say, yeah, these are the ones for sure. So, with that said, now that all that's out of the way, let's, let's just go through this page. Now, I'm just going to let this play a little bit. Uh... Performance. I'm all about performance when it comes to see cars. This in the background. Just good braking, acceleration, well, handling. They have the high craftsmanship of a Mercedes Benz and so we AMG in the distance. The creators of the really 45, the 63, car. and the 65 model lines come from Mercedes AMG 43. What's nice about the new That's AMG 43 model is that they have all the design elements AMG that are really expressive and of the AMG speed. brand. Now we have now, a set of nine authentic performance models that are positioned in between the regular Mercedes models and the really high performance AMG 45, 63, and 65 models. Engineers who are behind the development of all the AMGs the is the same people who develop these cars. The so software roasters, systems, the transmission the calibration, handling the handling, the how the cars dampen, the, the, the balance, everything drivers, from the same people all who put the all the research and development into the 63, 65 model. Very, you notice the AMG badges very, in the very, front grill. So the you AMG see, branded. Just a short little clip, minute 40. Got some guys, some people out there driving these cars around uh, and having a good time. Uh, so really exciting. New lineup, the AMG 43. That's nine different performance vehicles. Uh, in different trims and so let, what are we looking at here this is the mercedes amg gt series uh apparently this is a no compromise vehicle this will be a one vehicle that we're going to look at because what we really want to get down to is what is mercedes amg they're obviously just maybe putting their what their new car that they want to pitch in front of people in front of us so yeah okay we'll look at a couple of the photos right that's the gtr so we got the gtc which obviously stands for roadster convertible right and then you got the gtr i like it not in green i like it better than the gtc but i don't want it in green and okay so there's just two of them we're gonna have to take a look at that all right i guess they're coupes there we go i like the Ooh, wow they are sexy aren't they we got to take a look at all three of these don't we we're gonna take a look at the lineup in a minute but before we do that we're gonna go in sequence that looks very salacious, but we're going to go in sequence. I want it to fall off, go off sequence right then. <laughs> All right, so what is Mercedes AMD, AMG? Okay, so in 1967, and I need a refresher myself. In 1967, two automotive engineers with a passion for motorsports began fine-tuning engines for Mercedes-Benz race cars in an old mill. Today, as the performance division of Mercedes-Benz, AMG creates some of the most sought-after vehicles in the world, and that's a true story. They're the product of skilled craftsmen, designers, and engineers who live to test the limits and one shared conviction. On the road to driving performance, shortcuts never win the race. I don't know who that is. I'm not sure who that is um, that's behind the wheel there. Uh, forged and balanced for individual engine, AMG crankshafts are combined with remarkably lightweight yet strong aluminum pistons for smooth, immediate response. Uh, what is this here? Now, this looks like this is the A. Oh, so they've got the full family lineup of engines. Okay. So, what is an AMG? This is the AMG. We, we're learning about it right here. Okay. Uh, and here's the full lineup of engines. Let's start over here at the 2 liter, though. So the 2-liter, this is the most powerful engine of its kind on Earth. The handcrafted AMG 2-liter inline 4-turbo engine employs twin-scroll turbocharging to deliver higher performance with lower consumption, okay? Vehicles with this engine, that's neat. The CLA 45 and the GLA 45, 
Do they show us how much horsepower? No, they do not. But that's fine. So we got that 2 liter. Then we got the 3 liter V6. Now this uh, engine features large turbochargers and sophisticated AMG software uh, to deliver peak performance with high efficiency. Now who has this? The C43 sedan. I did do a review on that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the C43 sedan, C43 coupe, the cabriolet, the E43 sedan. Very nice vehicle. Um, the GLC 43 SUV uh, and the GLC 43 coupe, the GLE 43 coupe, right? And the road, okay, that was twice I saw that. And the roadster, SLC roadster, okay? So it looks like you can click out to these and it'll take you to the individual ones. I don't want to do that because I don't want to go too far off course. Um, so the 4-liter dry sump, so these engines keep getting bigger. The handcrafted AMG 4-liter V8 bi-turbo engine is the world's first sports car engine with the turbos inside the via the engine and dry sump lubrication. Now, the way dry sump works is, you know, cars with high horsepower that can corner a lot, sometimes when they're cornering, all the engine can go to like one, all the oil can go to like one side of the engine, thus starving the engine of oil. Well, with the dry sump lubrication system, which is on like race cars, without trying to sound too technical, that does that does away with that. It makes sure that the the engine does never is in a situation where it's starving for oil somewhere because of a reason like cornering G forces or something. All right, so what cars have this four liter V8? Okay, the AMG GTs we just looked at, all of that, that whole family, right? The GT, the GTS, the GTC and the GTR, and the GT Roadster, and the GTC Roadster, okay, so all the Roadsters, all the GTRs, I guess, or all the GTs have this engine, okay, what about, oh, that's the dry sump version, now, this is the four liter, uh, this is the one that probably goes in all the passenger cars, the turbos on the handcrafted AMG four liter V8 by turbo engine are loci located inside the via the engine, of the engine compartment design, Optimum responsiveness and low emissions, all right? So that's the deal. BMW does this too, though, and I think they've been doing it for a minute, meaning since like 2011-ish. Uh, now, who's in this? C63, S63, E63. Yeah, I was right. The whole family of sedans. C63, uh, GLCs. Yeah, GLCs. Yeah, everybody else. So the special GT gets this. This is more of a... A, this is a rate more of a race engine, right? It's got the dry soap lubrication, da 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 da, and then for all the family sedans and everything. Now this is this is the workhorse mill makes a lot of power. I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 600 for this motor, a lot of power, and, and all your bread and butter AMG cars are sitting on this, right? It says uh, located inside the via the engine for compact. Oh. For compact design, optimum responsiveness, and low emissions. Okay. I was reading that really funky. All right. Then we got the 5.5 liter. Okay. Now, this engine is a 5.5 bi-turbo engine combined spray-guided direct injection, turbocharging, and an eco stop-start system to raise adrenaline, level, adrenaline levels more efficiently. Who's got this? Uh, the, oh, the CLS is running this motor. The S63 is running this motor. The GLE the E63 S wagon, the GLE, GLE. Okay, so are they splitting duties between... So this was the... Oh, I think this is the outgoing motor that they might be phasing out because the top of this motor looks awfully familiar. This is the motor I'm very familiar with, the 5.5. This 4 liter is the new downsize, but they got all the same cars running this. So I think they're starting to phase this engine out. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that at all. But... I'm just trying to figure out why they have these two. This is definitely the bigger of the two. At any rate, that's that one. And then you got the big dog. You got the V12, 6 liter V12, right? Uh, liquid to air cooled, intercooled technology, intercooling technology. And this is runs the big dogs, the S65 family, the G65, the SL65 Roadster. So that's the whole thing there. So that was uh, what is Mercedes. That's Mercedes. And their hand, their handcrafted motors right there right uh the history of amg amg is born okay we got a timeline here amg is born right 1967 automotive engineers hans 
Warner, I'm not going to butcher that name. And Earnhardt, I'm not butchering his name either. But AMG start in an old mill in Bergstahl, Germany. Their mission to develop and test racing engines for Mercedes-Benz vehicles. There they are. I guess I should make it so you guys so you can look at their faces. Uh, let's go here. A home in Alfalterbach. Wait, I thought I pressed this one. Right, I want that one. Okay, so in 1971, they made headlines, AMG did, shocking a field of smaller cars. The 300 SEL 6.8 liter AMG finishes first in its class and second overall in the grueling 24 hours of spa. AMG is on the automotive map. I actually have this photo, and it's been my desktop picture many times over the years. Okay, uh, so what happened in 1976? A home in Alfalterbach uh, with customer requests for highly indiv individualized, high-performance vehicles increasing. AMG outgrows the old Bergstahl mill and steps up shop in the town of Alfalterbach. Uh, 19, what is this, 1980? Yes. 1980 and winning what god that's beautiful look at that photo just gorgeous ah i would love to have that picture amg reasserts its motorsports prowess with a victory in the touring car grand prix on the legendary nurburgring and a 375 horsepower 450 slc amg coupe that's this car out front i think that car had little mini back seats and it was not the most attractive but hey it just spanked all of these guys all right, uh, what happened? Oh, I have this photo. The Hammers. Yes, 1986. I was starting high school. The Hammer drops with an unheard of top speed of nearly 190 miles an hour and 375 pound-feet of brute torque. The refined-looking 300E AMG 5.6 is dubbed the Hammer. Barry Jackson Auto Auction, I kid you not, two, three, no, about four years ago, one of these in blue crossed the auction block. The owner also had one in the same color, the wagon version in blue. Both of them sold for under $40,000. I literally had a stomach ache because I wanted those cars both of them for under a hundred thousand dollars my goodness oh my god these cars their legend precedes them precedes themselves i mean these cars these cars um in 1993 the c36 amg the first car joined jointly developed by mercedes-benz and amg begins production the marriage begins in two years, it becomes the first AMG model ever marketed in the U.S. Look at the hound's tooth seats. Look at the hound's tooth seats. Uh, okay, I'm going to scroll this up a little bit so I can see all these dots. All right, 1994. Wow, that's my kind of picture there. Repeat performance, huh? AMG's dominance on the track continues, all right, with that C36. The C-Class goes on to become the most successful car in German Touring Car Championship history. Boom. What happened in 2002? Supercharged. Equipped with a supercharger called Compressa in German, the revolutionary AMG 5.5 liter V8 mil debuts in the next gen sl 55 with an output of nearly 500 horsepower it was 496 both the vehicle and its power plant are legends on the rival and you can buy these on craigslist for a song all day long all right what happened in 2004 the cl courtesy of the new amg six liter v12 bi turbo engine under its hood the 05 CL65 AMG Coupe launches with a staggering output of no less than 603 horse and 738 pound feet of torque. Oh, I love all these cars. I can't tell you how many times I have been on Craigslist looking at all of this stuff. I kid you not. Okay, uh, Engine of Change. 
All right, this is uh, 06, 06. The first series produced engine developed wholly by AMG is unveiled, a 6.3 liter V8. It reigns as one of the most powerful naturally aspirated engines in production. And supposedly it had the most glorious exhaust note. All right, what happened in, wait, did I skip over one? Yeah, because there was two 2006s. Here's another one. See, oh, okay. In Europe, the new AMG Performance Studio introduces its limited production Black Series line with the SLK 55. Mm -hmm. Boasting higher performance through racing-derived technology, the Black Series arrives on U.S. shores the following year with the CLK 63. Just saw a red one not two months ago on Craigslist in my town. Gorgeous. Can't remember what it was. It was under $60,000. Very nice car. Uh, 2007. Nope. Whoops. 2007. Yes. A new era. A new era ushers in. Coinciding with the company's 40th anniversary, AMG launches the groundbreaking C63 with exclusive AMG styling inside and out. The most powerful production C-Class ever also establishes a new design aesthetic unique to amg all right what's up next the instant icon amg introduces its first ever oh i could just be hitting these things oh my god A amg introduces its first vehicle developed entirely in-house the sls amg that's right this is the first full production 100 percent amg vehicle right a sport super sports car with gull wing doors, it earns accolades and admiration the world over. Okay. In 2010, uh, Dynamic Duo, given the internal designation M157, that's that motor I was talking about, that old 5.5. I was just go trying to figure out what was up with it. I know this engine well because the cars I love, the cars I want to buy today, as a matter of fact, have this engine in it. The new AMG 5, well, maybe not this one. This, I'm talking about ones between like 19, 2008 and like 2012 or 2013. This M157 motor was around. I don't know if this is a different version they're talking about, but I'm talking about the older. Uh, so this engine premieres in the S63 thanks in part to a pair of turbochargers. The M, oh, maybe it was the M156. Anyway, the M157 is not only more powerful than its larger naturally aspirated predecessor. Ah, the predecessor. Gotcha. There it is. I answered it answered my question. But also 25% more fuel efficient. Boom. All right. 2012 electrifying performance. The 13 launch with the zero local emissions SLS AMG Coupe electric drive for the European market is announced using technology from F1. It will be the fastest electronically uh, electric electrically powered car on earth mm -hmm. for what the three miles it can go or something uh 2013 amg debuts the most powerful engine of its kind on earth the amg two liter yeah delivering higher performance with lower fuel consumption somewhere in the neighborhood of what 345 horse or something 350 horse i think the ecoboost ford is pretty strong too though i think it's a little bit lower than that but it's a stout four liter or it's stout uh four cylinder but i think it's a little bit bigger displacement it might be 2.3 uh so here in 2014 here's an everyday car an achievement of intense passion and beauty for the senses the racetrack bred mercedes amg gts is revealed with that four liter dry sump motor right we saw that up above uh and then 2014 what did uh Mercedes AMG wins its first ever Formula One Constructors Championship, powered by an innovative and potent electric powertrain and a 1.6 liter V6 turbocharged engine. Very cool. Uh, in 15, back to back championships, yeah. And then 2015, they got a best driver's car. Motor Trend called it, selected the 2016 AMG GTS, the 2015 best driver's car. Uh, it put all 503 of its horsepower to the ground like an all-wheel drive supercar and gripped the road through high-speed corners like a winged racer. Yeah, so I, <laughs> that means it threw down. It threw down. That's what that means. All right, let's look at a little bit about the performance. 
it's a team effort over there, I guess. Whether it's the hand-built craftsmanship or the one-man, one-engine philosophy, or the ever-advancing technological leadership of the latest by turb or the latest by turbos, an AMG engine is developed not just to perform but to outperform. But it's just one of many high-performance weapons in our engine arsenal. Okay, is there anything to click on here? No. And you can see that this thing is running probably all-wheel drive. That looks like an all-wheel drive there for sure. Uh, so that was power delivery. What's handling? Oh, that's down there. All right, so let's go back to power delivery. So with each successive generation, AMG engines produce more muscle, more efficiency, but it's the job of the AMG transmissions to refine that power and deliver it with both speed and precision. So they have advanced gearboxes with up to four selectable driving modes and race-derived features including dual or multi-clutch technology. And, and they're more than up to the task, right? That's the, that's the end and handling uh, in a Mercedes AMG everything from weight distribution and wheel design to load transfer frame rigidity is been engineered for responsiveness and they have and it's all in cap so it must be a thing AMG ride control sport suspension uh, analyzes every driving situation and adapts the and adapts the damping accordingly Confident control is assured by the AMG High Performance Braking System too, right? They, this is the got this is the carbon ceramic setup though. You know that because it's gold. If you see the gold, we the gold calipers on a Mercedes, that means that this is the carbon ceramic setup, and that's not standard. You know, you're usually paying about seven to ten thousand dollars to put those uh, carbon ceramics on that car. Um, so let's see what else and lightweight design solutions right they have late lightweight design solutions they put a strong emphasis on innovative use of materials like aluminum carbon fiber reinforced plastic and optimum tracking as well as efficiency okay and what about sound the exhaust huh can adrenaline actually be heard yeah through that AMG exhaust yeah it always sounds good it's got a powerfully son sonor I can't even sonorous <laughs> sonorous i'm butchering it growl of the exhaust is one of the unmistakable signatures of every amg vehicle all right and that's a true story every amg always sounds good my old e55s i had they sounded gorgeous just gorgeous loved it okay quattro all-wheel drive you know what i love that mercedes is going to all-wheel drive a lot of people a lot of manufacturers are but not everybody's on board but you got to be because these things, the cars these days put down so much power, right? It's hard to make them hook up. You got to have all wheel drive. So this is based on legendary Mercedes Formatic. Uh, the AMG Performance Formatic all wheel drive system is not only engineered to preserve the signature AMG uh, feel while making the best use of available torque so you can get that power down to the ground. It's also up to 35% lighter than the comparable systems out there. So what do they mean? Audi Quattro systems, which means it's a force to be reckoned with, right? And the new BMW M5 has is, is all-wheel drive now. Even BMW said we got to go four-wheel drive to put the power down. Um, so we got more videos here. So you got the AMG Driving Academy. So do you get this when you buy a car under the guidance of professional instructors? You'll push your driving abilities and a selection of AMG models to the limit on some of America's most legendary racetracks. It's a high-speed, high-adrenaline driving adventure like no other, and it's engineered specifically to prove what you and AMG are made of. So I'm not going to go click on the learn more, but either way, I think it's a good deal. Either if it came as a one- or two-day event that you got when you bought a car, or even if you had to pay extra, I'm always down for it. I know everybody, a lot of people do it. Cadillac does it. And Porsche does it. Uh, I think Dodge, SRT even does it. Everybody's got these like performance driving school things because, yeah, you know what? People don't necessarily know how to drive these high-horsepower cars. Let them. I think by teaching people how to drive them, that makes them respect them. And when you respect it, then maybe you won't go out there and get hurt. So that's cool. Uh, a little bit about design, the shape of performance. Even at a glance, you can tell there's something different about a Mercedes. The sharpened profile, the wider wheel arches, the road-hugging lower body work. At the AMG Design Center in our Falterbach, the aggressive character of, of Mercedes AMG takes shape based on the advanced high-performance technology beneath its skin. All right. Uh, twin power domes. Well, what are those? On many AMG models, 
distinctive bulges on the hood draw the eye and the mind to the hand-built powerhouse beneath. Oh, they're talking about right there. Yeah, it does draw the eye. I hadn't noticed it until you said it, so I guess it didn't draw my eye too much. But it's still very, very, very attractive. Okay, wide stance. Yes, and I love that. I call it hips. Like, if you know old Porsche 911 turbos, man, those things are wide. The new ones are wide, too, though. So wide stance. High-performance handling calls for enhanced road grip which is delivered by wider axle tracks on most models as well as wider tires. Now, see, on some of them, that's that's why they said on most models, like on those 43 lineups, the 43 class of cars is normally the, the they're like the, the, the baby bin. They're like the baby AMGs, and those aren't going to have the wide bodies. Whenever they got the 63s and all that behind them, that's the big motors. And that's going to be when you get all that all that extra AMG flair. And I'm pretty sure I'm right on that, but you might want to double check. But I'm pretty sure I'm right on that one. Uh, the rear diffuser, that's down here. Used in auto racing to manage airflow exiting from under the vehicle, most AMG models incorporate it as a functional or stylistic element. Okay. Uh, inside. That's a nice one. Which one is that? That one's very attractive. From the sports steering wheel with the aluminum shift paddles to the sports seats and special instrumentation. The purpose of a Mercedes AMG is, well, clear. <laughs> AMG front apron, right? Sometimes we call it a splitter, right? A signature element of AMG body styling. It's fe it features enlarged vents at both corners to channel air to the engine, right? That bad boy's got to breathe. All right, let's look at a little gallery, iconic designs. Let's go through it. There's that... Uh, that's that AMG uh, hammer, right? That's some DTM car, racing car. That looks like that's an SL65 AMG black. Let's see how much stuff I can remember here. Uh, that looks like one of those AMG GTs. I don't know which trim. There's an SLS. That's hot. I take that. That's a CLS63. Take that. I used to love that car. I used to want this car for easily. I wanted this car for a few years. Uh, there's that old 6.6.8 liter, right? That started it all back in the day. I have this photo as well. Uh, that is a CLK GTR Mercedes from back in the day. There's actually road going versions of this car. So you think I know a little bit about Mercedes? I'm just calling them off off the cuff. I probably don't know all of them. Uh, E63 wagon, right? Um, I don't know what drivetrain that is, um, but it's cool. Oh, but they got more info. <laughs> SLS AMG drivetrain. Duh. Let's see. Was I right on all of these? Let's let's not go back and check. But what about this one? Yeah, CLK GTR. What about? Uh, did I say 6.8 liter? 6. Point, yeah, 6.8 liter. I remember. CLS. Yeah, got that one. All right. I said this one was a GT, and then we'll go for it. SLS. That's an SLS. They look really close. The GTs and the SLS to me look very close together. Um, what's this? What's this? AMG valve train, the four valve, four valve, four variable camshafts, thirty-two valves, and three high-performance chains in the M152 AMG engine, right? Um, 2014 G63 with a 5.5 liter in it. Uh, that's probably Lewis Hamilton out there in the Formula One car. Yeah, Lewis Hamilton. God, I'm knocking it out. Nico Rosberg, who retired. Retired. As soon as that guy won a Formula, he won the championship and retired. He said, all I wanted to do was win it. <laughs> and he was done. He tapped out. Um, yep, what's this? AMG engine plaque. Each engine carries a plaque bearing the signature of the AMG master engine builder who assembles it. Uh, there's, oh, there's the stamp on their leather, right? From the potent engines to the exquisite interiors. And they are exquisite. AMG is... It is, it is, it is awesome. They, they, their cars are hot. They're, they're, to, they're hot tamales for sure. 2013 C63 AMG Black, right? Nice, nice, nice. I don't know about that spoiler back there, but otherwise, right? Carbon ceramics on that bad boy, right? Uh, with gold painted calipers and carbon, carbon fiber reinforced ceramic rotors engineered for the track. Yeah, because they squeak a lot. Here's a side note on that. Anytime there's any testing. Carbon ceramic brakes do not perform better on the street. They perform better on the track, 
where they get sufficient heat in them. If you want your brakes to perform really, really well on the street, just stick with the steel rotors. FYI. Uh, what's Okay, we're at 18. Another shot of uh, their formula. Ooh, God, look at that. What is that? SLS. Maybe I need to get an SLS. Showcasing AMG seamless fusion of cutting-edge technology and old-world craftsmanship. Look at all that carbon fiber. Uh, old school meets new school. I like. I need this photo. Racing roots. F1 and DTM. What is this? This looks like. Uh, is that a C? Is that a C sixty three S? Yes. The five hundred. <laughs> The 503 horsepower AMG C63S coupe includes an electronic rear axle limited slip diff that enhances precision and response. I would throw down in that car all day. All I say that about every You know why? Because I just love cars, man. I really need a big piece of land and a building so I could have just a museum of cars that I would just drive all the time. But this one, for sure, that's hot. That is hot. I like it. All right, did we get to the end? No, two more, two more. That's that's got to be is that an SLS? Now I'm confused. No, that's a GTS. That's a GTS. I think the SLS has a longer no. Yeah, I'd have to look at them more. So this was a driver's car best year for Motor Trend. This is a GLE. Is that a GLE? GLE 63. Okay, that's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. Um. Pushes the limits of performance. It's got definitely got some style and versatility. Uh, craftsmanship. Tell us about the craftsmanship. We're almost down at the bottom, and then we'll go check out the the models. Uh, craft in a dream. The AMG definition of a complete work of art means developing all performance relevant components for our vehicles by ourselves. They do it all. More than 700 of our employees work in the developmental department, all of whom devote themselves to creating innovations again and again. For example. In accordance with our one-man, one-engine philosophy, every single engine in Mercedes AMG 45, 63, and 63, 65 model is handcrafted by its own highly trained master engine builder. And in accordance with the strictest quality standards. It's just one way our engineers express their dedication, passion, and character. That's pretty sweet. Uh, final touches are made on the application of an embroidered AMG logo. Uh, master engine builders putting his name on the engine. Uh, got some leather here. Uh, somebody about to cut their thumb off with the uh, with those big scissors. Uh, the picture we already saw before. A uh, brake caliper uh, that's oversized and is not carbon ceramic, just before installation. Uh, AMG perforated front brake rotor. Uh, master engine builder plaque. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here's a guy uh, building an engine. Very cool. Um, look at the underneath. Look, they got flat panels and everything. They're really managing that airflow underneath there, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, models. We made it. We made it. We made it. The models. Let's check it out. Oh, so we can click it and get a big boy view. Okay, cool. Let's click it and get a big boy view. For, okay, so first up is the AMG CLA 45 Coupe. Okay, AMG CLA 45 Coupe, thanks to a handcrafted 2-liter turbo. Oh, 375 horse? Dang, 375 horse. Well, just scratch what I said about the EcoBoost. They got a lot to go, and it's even a bigger motor than this. Wow, they are throwing down. They're offering a master class on how it's done. 0 to 60 and 4.1. This is not even that expensive of a car. I got to build it out. I like this thing. My, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Wow, 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 wow. 350 pound feet of torque, 2 liter. Wow. Uh, turbocharged engine, slew of performance technology, experienced racetrack bred. Uh, thrills have never been easier. Okay, cool. Uh, what's up next? The C43 Coupe. Set, setting new standards in its segment, the C43 Coupe AMG's enhanced engine utilizes similar technology found in the engine of our uh, championship winning Formula One team. All right, it's a 3 liter V6. Gosh, it doesn't even put down as much horsepower as that 2-liter. And just barely, really, just, what, 30, 34 more pound-feet of torque than that 2-liter. So 362 horse, 384 torque, 0 to 60, it's even slower, 4.6 seconds. Still an awesome car, though. Still an awesome car. 
Um, next up is the AMG C63 Coupe. What was this? What was this? Oh, C43. I'm sorry. I said 63, didn't I? I'm sorry. C43 Coupe. No wonder. Now that makes sense. I apologize. C43 Coupe. <laughs> now we got the C63. All right. Now that makes more sense. Jeez. 0 to 60, 3.9 seconds. Seconds. 469 horse, 479 torque, 4 liter turbo. Um, proof that AMG Engineering is dedicated to captivating the eye as much as exhilarating the soul. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, this is the S version. It makes 503 horsepower versus 469, 479, 0 to 60 and 3.9 had a 4 liter. This also has a 4 liter, but now, you know, it's incremental here. But you're probably going to feel it just driving around better. It's not so much here that you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it in the seat of your pants, though. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's the C63S. Then one of my favorites, CLS 63, right? 577 horse, 590 torque, 3.6, right? Delivering the muscle of a one-of-a-kind performance uh, with the sensuality of one-of-a-kind styling. Yeah, it's sporty, all right. It is a nice-looking car. S63 Coupe, 603 horse, 664 torque, 3.4, 0 to 60. It says, it's a beast that is truly a thing of beauty, sensuously sleek, uh, design accentuated by bold, intense AMG styling. It's our flagship coupe, soaked in pure adrenaline. It is hot. God, it's hot. Uh, AMG S65 Coupe, the best or nothing. It, it in its in its most thrilling form, a six-liter bi-turbo V12 engine, and as much style as there is sophistication, a driving experience that is second to none. Six-liter, 621 horse, 738 torque, which is the same numbers it put down in 2006. Okay, zero to sixty in four seconds. Um, ooh, AMG GT Coupe. That's got that 4-liter dry sump, 469 horse, 465 torque, 3.9, 0 to 60, right? Um, who's up next? The GTS Coupe, 515 horse, 495, 494 torque, 37, 0 to 60. Then we have the GTC, nice. 0 to 60 and 3.6, 550 horse, 502 torque, right? Uh, this one's putting out what? 577 horse, 516. This is the GTR, buddy. The street-ready track conqueror is every bit as thrilling, aggressive, and unforgettable as its menacing exterior suggests. Woom, 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 right? 0 to 60 and 3.5. It's throwing down this car. It's throwing down. Uh, and then they've got performance centers. All you got to do is drop your zip. Drop your zip. Let's drop a zip in. Hang on. Let's drop a zip. All right, I'm going to drop in a random Portland, Oregon zip code and see where it. Uh, what it tells us is the nearest dealer. Mercedes-Benz of Wilsonville. Mercedes-Benz of Wilsonville is the nearest of, uh, AMG performance center. Okay, well, now I know where to go. <laughs> All right, uh, AMG Private Lounge. What's this all about? Among friends, the exclusive AMG Private Lounge online community offers firsthand news, exciting insider information, and a forum for detailed dialogue, plus attractive offers of first-class events such as, as uh, preview nights or race days with VIP access. And in a falter box, there is also an ex exquisitely appointed lounge just waiting for your visit. All right, well, let me hop, get a plane ticket. And uh, you can download the brochure. All right, well, that was cool. That was fun. That was fun. We learned a lot. Let's go back to the top. We learned a lot about Mercedes, didn't we? We learned about the whole lineup, the models, the history, the performance, the design, the craftsmanship, that lounge, everything. A little bit, everything. Beautiful. What is not to like about Mercedes AMG? Now, I got a, I've got I put a video I put a video up in the beginning for you to go check out the S63 AMG. I'm gonna put some links down below. Uh, there'll be a link at the end of the video. Uh, you know what? 
I love cars. I love them. I love them. If you like these AMGs, thumbs up this video, like it, subscribe. If there's a particular AMG that you like that you saw me scrolling through, you want me to do a build and price on, just leave a comment below. I'm happy to do a build and price. Happy to do a build and price because I'm doing this for fun. All right. Well, have a wonderful day. I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for joining me and hanging out.